Hey there, Papri people. I finally have some excellent evidence of something I talk about often. That is the difference between expiratory pressure relief, that's EPR, this is on a ResMed machine, and bilabel. There's a huge difference. But if you look at forums and you believe what you read on forums, you'll see that people there think EPR is the bee's knees. It's the best thing ever. And it functions as a bilabel. Nothing could be further from the truth. Granted, sometimes EPR can be very helpful for things like aerophasia, which is getting air into your stomach. It can help as far as comfort, and it can kind of mimic bilevel on a very, very, very small scale. So what do I mean by all of this? So EPR, every time you exhale, the pressure drops by a specific amount of whatever you set it to. So EPR of three drops by three centimeters of water. When it increases though, it's really slow. It's not fast at all but it can provide some pressure support, meaning it assists you in breathing. I'll get to that just more in a second. Bilevel is very, very different. So you have two distinct pressures also, but instead of being slow and meant for comfort, it's fast and it's meant for effectively opening up your airway. Bilevel is really not meant for comfort. It's meant for speed of opening up your airway. And this is where the trampoline effect really comes in. And what I mean by the trampoline effect, this is how bilevel works as far as assisting. Trampoline effect. If I'm just trying to jump off the ground now, I'm, I'm only going to get so high. I'm going to get as high as I can jump. If I jump off of a trampoline, though, using the same scenario, I'm going to be able to jump a lot higher, like significantly higher. And that's because the trampoline is actually assisting me in jumping. By levels the same way. As I'm inhaling, it's increasing. And so you get an exponential effect in opening up your airway. Really, really effective in people with upper airway resistance syndrome. And I gotta say, with my business, AXG Sleep Diagnostics, doing the Oscar Pap Therapy Analysis, I see this all the time. People have just a regular CPAP machine or even an APAP, an automatically titrating CPAP machine. People think these are great. They do not do a good job of increasing the pressure appropriately. That's not what this is about though. So people get these APAPs. Really, I wish, this is my crusade, that everyone got a bi-level machine. They're capable of CPAP also. If you don't need it, you don't need it. You don't ever have to use it. But if by chance you do, it's just a simple switch of the mode of therapy. All right, you guys don't care about this. You guys want to see some actual evidence. This is proof of this. So this is actually footage from an Oscar pap therapy analysis I did with someone. We're going to call him baby Jesus number two. I really appreciate this for the learning opportunity. So this is someone using a higher pressure. I believe it was 17 centimeters of water with an EPR of three. So every time they exhale, it drops down to 14. But on the inhale, it's up to 17. Not as fast though. So I was like, hey, dude, you gotta get a bi-level machine. These, these aren't gonna be knocked out. Tons of respiratory effort related arousals, tons of flattening on the tops of the waves, lots of flow limitation. It was a hot mess. We kept increasing it. Really, really just kept kind of staying the exact same. So we finally got a bi-level. So let's try these different pressure settings. I believe it was, I remember inspiratory was 15. I wanna say it was probably 11 for expiratory. And you can really see the difference in the waves. I take a couple different samples from different spots and you can actually see the roundness on the tops of the waves. Much more rounded, much fuller breaths, much fewer awakenings at night because of these respiratory effort related arousals. And it was simply a change in the mode of therapy. So now instead of using 17 with a weak EPR, he's using 15 with a much stronger, or I should say a much more effective pressure support. A simple mode of therapy change made all the difference in the world. This graphic says it all. We have 17 centimeters of water with a weak EPR of three, and you can see the flattening on the tops of the waves. Then we shift to bi-level with 15 as an inspiratory pressure and a pressure support, a true pressure support of four. And you can see the breathing is much more full with no collapse of the airway. Oh, excuse me, Jocelyn. You should probably do your transition right now to, a, to an advertisement. Mm -hmm. Yep, get into it. So bi-level provides a lot more it's just more effective, much like CPAPsupplies.com. Smooth transition, boom! Now, why do I say it's much more effective? Well, you have for the month of February, just about a week left, discount code LOVELANKY. You can get 25% off any mask or accessory that you purchase. You can even do this with your HSA or FSA account. No need to wait for December, lazy bones. In addition to this, you get 100 loyalty reward program points, which equates to another five bucks off your order. Make sure you check the description box, use my link, head on over to CPAP Supplies, buy something special for that loved one that you forgot to buy something for on Valentine's Day. You know, 
Nothing says I love you like CPAP supplies or CPAPsupplies.com. Do me a solid, check out the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. Jocelyn, I think that was honestly one of the best transitions and advertisement segments you've ever done in your life. <laughs> it's, I know, it's hard to be humble sometimes. So just curious from you guys, let me know in the comments section, have you ever made the switch from CPAP to buy level and what was your experience like with it? I know from my experience, people experience a lot less aerophasia, a lot more effective treatment when appropriate. But I'd love to hear your story in the comment section. If you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one pap therapy analysis with me or a home sleep test, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Check out the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. And I wanna thank all the Patreon supporters as well as the YouTube members for supporting this channel. Thank you so much, have a great day, bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask right available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espelong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff.